many students sit in class this morning, we know it's been a tough start to the school year for St. Louis Public Schools. But there's one thing that seems evident. Amid grappling with major leadership changes and restructuring with the system, Interim Superintendent Dr. Millicent Borshade is stepping in after Dr. Keisha Scarlett was fired in September. And she's driven to rebuild. This weekend, that'll be through quite literally turning a page. Uh, it's such a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Borishade. And I think before we talk details on literacy in the loo, I want to talk about what the past few months have been like for you. So you stepped up to the plate um, to save a crumbling system, and now that means dealing with nine leadership vacancies. How is your team handling it, and what are you looking for with, with new leadership? So my team is literally stepping up and doing all things student-centered, all things student-centered. We are committed, we are dedicated to making sure that students each and every day when they come from the classroom all the way to the boardroom, we're making sure that students are learning. Students are the center of what we're doing. And so when you think about this weekend, all of the departments coming together to make this happen, Literacy for the Lou, again for our students. And when we think about Literacy for the Lou, it is again making sure that our students have what they need to become excellent readers, to um, build a love for reading, all things reading. Dr. Borashade, it's amazing to hear not only from you but from the surrounding community uh, how your your new team is trying to reestablish what's known as SLPS. And we know, despite accusations that Keisha Scarlett wasted money through her hiring practices and other personnel decisions, we heard from some parents yesterday who say they really believe in the system and have noticed the efforts that you and your team are working on. So I think for you, how are you continuing to restore faith in the school district? You know what? Listening to our parents, listening to the community, listening to our students, listening to our staff members, um, they know what they need and they know what our students need and then building on the things that they've shared that they need. For example, last year when we did Literacy for the Lou, you know, it was all about reading, but our staff, our families, and our students said, you know what, we want a glam squad. And so this year, when we do Literacy for the Lou, we're bringing in the glam squad. We're bringing in, you know, a team that's going to do some haircuts. We're going to have food. We're going to have activities. Um, the team is also just so much centered on making sure that our students remain the focus. We're trying to um, ignore all of the noise and make sure that we just remain focused on what our students need. When we think about any crisis that hits our school, we have a crisis team that is ready to respond. Our student support services, our family support um, specialists, everybody from top to bottom is making sure that, again, we stay centered on students. And I think, Dr. Borishade, we heard that from parents yesterday who, who say they see the work that you and your new team are, are trying to do, are continuing to do. Why should people come out and get to know who you are? Because again, I'm centered on students. My team is centered on students. We are all champions for students, all of us. We want to make sure that our students do well. We want to make sure that St. Louis Public Schools is a premier district. And that means putting academic excellence first. And that means making sure that each and every one of our students resemble the portrait of a graduate, becoming critical thinkers, being ready for college and career, being change agents here in St. Louis. Imagine that. One last question for you, doctor. Uh, before we uh, make it to literacy for the Lou, tell us why people should come out. Do you have a message to share with all of those in the, in the system who, who have questions, who are just ready to see the next steps? Sure. My thing is it takes a village, and we're counting on everyone in the system, our parents, our students, everyone, just wrapping their arms around all the things children-centered. Our team, once again, the only thing I can say is that we are committed we work <laughs> from sun up to sundown. On Mondays, I meet with an administrative team at 6.30 in the morning, making sure that they have what they need to be successful. And being at Literacy for the Lou is just one other opportunity for people to get to see that we mean business when we are supporting our children. Thank you so much for what you're doing, Dr. Dr. Borashade. It's so good to hear from you and to hear what is happening behind closed doors. Go out and visit them this weekend, guys. It's all happening at the Missouri History Museum. We will have those details on our website. Thank you. Thank you.